it is all happening right now. Now look, if you believe the Bible, the Bible talks about the lamb slain before the foundation world. And the Bible says, what has been shall be, and what shall be has been. That tells you everything. Now listen to what I'm saying. If you believe the Bible, the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. What has been shall be. What shall be has been. The lamb slain before the foundation of the world. It already happened at the cross. If the Bible's the truth, it can't contradict itself. So what shall be <clears throat> now has been at the cross. What has been at the cross shall be now. It's playing out every moment of every day right now. If you use logic, and logic goes back to logos, God is logical. God is not not God is not illogical. God is logical. If it's happening now, it happened at the cross. If it happened at the cross, it's happening now. What shall be has been. What has what has been shall be. Easy, easy button. The reason that you don't want to believe it is because your flesh mind is in time. But your spirit mind is out of time. And so when your spirit when you when you rest and rely on your spirit mind above your flesh mind you believe it but when you believe when you rely on your flesh mind you don't believe it your old adam is crying baby in time it's a uh, well, 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 oh no i got this pain this my wife left my husband left my children left my parents left I lost my job I'm dying absent from the body present with Lord the reason you have to go through the crying stage the, the, the cry baby stage is because it's a birthing cycle bad things happen down here but God promises that he restores. He takes the moth-eaten years and he restores those days. He says you'll be blessed in heaven, in this life and the life to come if you run to him. Look at that. H-E-S. He is. God the same. Somebody made a comment yesterday. The God the same today, yesterday, forever. If you're hid in Christ in God, it's the same today, yesterday, forever. It's happening right now. You might not see it. I see it because I spent 10 years decoding it. But right there is the whole Bible. Right there in front of you is the whole Bible. Right here on my finger, the joints. Join. <coughs> J-O-I-N-T. T is the cross. It has to be encoded in everything because the gospel is encoded everywhere. The gospel was being preached in a marriage. The gospel was even being preached at a funeral, death, resurrection. In a marriage, two become one. The gospel is always being preached in that mirror. You reflect back at the gospel. You think back. One way right there. This says wrong way, but it's red is a red sign. Why? Because it represents the blood. The wrong way, you have to have the blood cover. It's happening right now the cross is happening right now your flesh mind can't see it but your spirit mind can your mind is spirit if you tap into it be renewed in the spirit of your mind your mind is spirit be the Bible says be renewed in the spirit of your mind what has been at the cross shall be right now. What, sh what shall be tomorrow, next minute, next moment, what shall be has been, already been at the cross. The lamb slain before the foundation of the world. It is written. It is finished. So what happened at the cross? Everything unfolds and all blessings are from the cross. That's why he says, eat of my 
flesh, drink of my blood. Why? Because everything that happened at the cross. And so you're thinking back. When you're thankful, you're thinking. The word think and think. T-H-I-T-H-A-N-K are the same word. Because you're thankful for what Jesus did by thinking back at the cross. Thank you. Thank you. E-W-E. You. Sheep. Think. Hey, sheep. Think. Wake up. Use your brain. Think. Think back to the cross. Thankful for what Jesus did at the cross because every moment is sustained. He ever lives to make intercession for the saints. It's all by Him. In Him we live and breathe and have our being. All things consist by Jesus. He holds it all together. C-O-N-S-T. Genesis. It's all held together by Him. It's happening right now. It's happening every moment. It's happening all the time. I'm just trying to get out of this place. I'd like to get raptured out of this place. I'd like to get translated like uh, Enoch. My whole goal of decoding is to get translated like Enoch, but it looks like i got to wait on the rapture. But in my mind, in my spirit, I'm already translated because it's all a praise and worship service every moment. And what are you going to do in heaven? Praise and worship. Every moment is a praise and worship service. Period. That's it. You might say, well, that seems boring. No, the flesh is boring. Praise and worship is not boring. Yeah, you might take a break from it and go, do, go create a, a world, a, a metaverse in the spirit realm. Somebody. <laughs> you might be able to create a world in the spirit. You know, when you get to heaven, it's praise and worship. But you see, you see what he asked the devil. God asked the devil, said, What have you been doing? He said, I've been going to and fro in the earth. He calls you, he calls you, he summons you to 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 his to his throne to give an account. It's like you get a summons to court. God is summoning. He will summon his angels. He will summon his saints. He will summon uh, every created being to give him worship and praise because it all points to Jesus. And if it wasn't for Jesus, you wouldn't even exist. Well, that's not fair. Okay, so you don't exist anymore. Do you want to exist? Or do you want to be deleted from reality? Even if you could create an a, 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 a uh, alternate universe, you can't delete the one that's already there. Let's say you could jump universes. Let's say you could jump parallel universes, which would you wouldn't know you jumped. Let's say it's possible. Let's say it's happening right now. Let's say it's... If I knew how... And I'm probably doing it. You're actually probably doing it. If I could jump from this universe to another one, I'd still be sitting here. I'd still be looking at the same stuff, but some, some uh, drama would change. But this old universe would still be here because it's all in Jesus because they're all the same. So even though even if I did jump to a multiverse, another universe, it's the same cross. It's the same gospel. You can jump multiverses if you want to, but why not just... Get into praise and worship in the universe that you're in. If you want to change your universe, change yourself. Be thankful. It's really easy. It's, I mean, the reason the reason we missed it is because we depended on the 5013C to tell us the truth. But the 5013C was only thinking about money. Money, 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 money. And that blinds us. If all we're thinking about is money, it will blind us. Seriously. All the music is to distract you. All the drama is to distract you. All of it is to distract you to get back from getting back to source. When you hit source code, it's praise and worship, period. That is the secret. The only way you're going to get back to source is faith alone and Jesus alone. 
Get your mind lined up with the scripture. Believe it. And when you see verses that what shall be has been and what has been shall be, when you see verses like that that don't make sense, start praying. Don't make sense. Yeah, because your flesh mind can't think in unity. You're divided. Just like Eve was a piece cut off, she lost her identity, so she came back. You, as a piece cut off from source, which is God, Jesus, you're a piece cut off. You can't see it till you get back in. Till you appropriate it by faith and step back in with Jesus, then you can see what shall be has been, what has been shall be. You can see it all happened at that at that source point, and that unfolding that source that source point. It spirals out from everything spirals out from the source, but at, even in the spiral, it's the same source, and that's why it's from Him, through Him, to Him. Because here's here's source, everything spirals out, but at the but as it spirals out, it's still the same source. That's quantum physics, and so as it spirals out, it's still the source is from Him, through Him, to Him. So even though it's spiraling out from source, it's spiraling back to source, through source. That's why it's a fractal hologram. And that's why it's happening. Every moment is happening right now. And it's a fractal story of his story. From him, through him, to him. And so everything's from source. It's spiraling out. And each spiral has the source. It spirals out. The source is at each point, and it's back to him. But he's everywhere at all times. God is everywhere. Jesus holds it all together. And so it's a fractal projection hologram. It's a, it's a total immersion. Spirit, soul, body. It's not, like a meta, it's not like a Facebook metaverse immersion with the goggles. This is actually, you're feeling the immersion Inside your body, outside, it's a total immersion. In Him, we live and breathe and have our being. You're totally immersed. Spirit, soul, body, eyes, ears, mouth, language, words, feelings, everything. You're in a. You're in a. You're in an, a total immersive, projected reality. It, it feels like a video game. It feels like a horror show. It feels like a love story. It feels like vic it feels like everything. You got cold, hot, pain. Uh, what was that lady's name that did the song? You're cold and hot. You know, you're in, in a total immersive reality, and so the only way you can actually see it and and look at it from the outside in is by His Spirit. And those who are lost will never get it. They might get some. They might get partial stuff, but they won't see the whole picture. They'll see pieces of it, and they'll end up worshiping those pieces. But everything's useful. You might they say, well, we're going into the multiverse, and nobody's going to be, everybody's going to sit in their pod, and they're going to have uh, robots they control. Well, there's still a need for to walk around and exercise and lift weights. You don't want to be in some kind of total immersive where you lose your 3D uh, ability to move around. That's what they're trying to do is make a machine man. They're going to worship the machine man. The clay and the iron will not mix, period. That's Bible. So you don't have to worry about it. You see it, Genesis 3, it didn't mix. The AI devil, he didn't mix. God made a way of escape in Genesis 3. God made a way of escape at the, at the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. So God's going to make a way of escape right now. And the mandate is there's going to be a way of escape out of the mandate. It's going to fail. I promise you. It's going to fail. It's 12 o'clock. I don't know if this is Wednesday or Thursday. I lost track of time. I think it's Thursday. Yeah, this is Thursday, 12 28. I'm telling you right now, before it comes down to that, the mandate stuff is going to fail. Period. It's going to be thrown out. I promise you. God always makes a way of escape. The 666 is not here yet till the rapture. Till after the rapture.